Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our ongoing series of lectures on anesthesiology. Today we are going to talk about Sister Curium, we discuss in this lecture. Mechanism of Action Indications Systemic Actions Dosage Adverse Effects Sister Curium Non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agent Invented in 1995 Mechanism of action Acts by competitive antagonism Binds with nicotinic acetylcholine receptors on the motor end plate of neuromuscular junction to produce neuromuscular blockade Indications It is intermediate onset and duration of action of drug Mainly indicated for inpatients and outpatients adjunct to general anesthesia. To facilitate tracheal intubation. To provide skeletal muscles relaxation during surgery. For mechanical ventilation in ICU. Pregnancy, labor, delivery and nursing mother. Drug of choice. Cardiac compromise patients. ARDS patients. Hepatic failure patients. Renal failure patients. Ideal in neurosurgical patients. Chemo and obese patients. Systemic actions. No changes in heart rate, contractility, SVR and blood pressure. Lung protective through its intimate inflammatory properties. Metabolism is through Hoffman reaction. Reduce ICP, cerebral perfusion and it is neuroprotective. Dosage Dose is 0.15 to 0.20 mg per kg. Maintenance dose, 0.02 to 0.03 mg per kg. Operation theater and ICU infusion, 1 to 3 micrograms per kg per minute. Pediatric dose, 0.10 to 0.15 mg per kg. Below 1 month not recommended. Avoid in. Rapid sequence intubation. As I see you relaxant more than 1 week. Burn injury. Hemiplegia. Muscular denervation. Severe chronic infection. Tetany. Adverse effects. Uncommon with the use of cystricurium. Less than 1%, bradycardia, hypotension, spasm, myopathy, prolonged effects. Contraindications. Known hypersensitivity. Patient with myasthenia gravis or myasthenia syndrome. History of prior anaphylactic reactions to neuromuscular blocking agents. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.